if your partner does any of these three things, please do not give them a second chance. I'm not saying that when your partner offends you, you will not forgive them. But for these three things, giving up is the best option because you cannot force people to treat you the way you treat them. You cannot force people to treat you and respect you the way you respect them. You cannot beg people to give you this attention, love and care that you truly deserve. It comes naturally. Don't ever force someone to remember you. Hey, you have forgotten me. Hey, you don't call me. Hey, you don't test me. Hey, you don't bother about me. Hey, you don't worry about me. Don't ever force people to remember you. Instead, you stay quiet. You leave them alone. Let them realize how their life will be without you, without your care, without your attention, without you in their life. This is when they will bother. This is when they will miss you. This is when they will come back yearning for you. And if they don't, that means you were never meant to be together. If your partner does any of these three things, please do not give them a second chance. I'm not saying that you should not forgive them. You can forgive some people. You can forgive some people without welcoming them back in your life. Apology accepted, but access denied. Number one, if they hurt you or broke your trust, instead of protecting you, they are supposed to protect you. If a woman in your life or even the man in a woman's life does the opposite, the same person that is supposed to protect you, protect your interest, this person has betrayed you. There are some women you are dating they sell you out to outsiders. Maybe you brought home a huge amount of money. This same woman will go out there and connive with criminals to come and rob you. When you find out, you cannot forgive such things because your life cannot be saved with a woman like that. A woman that can sell you out to outsiders. In another case, the people you hate most, they become her best friend. Do you have a woman like that in your life? That same person that you hate most? That same man or woman that you dislike? They are her best friends. I'm not saying that it is good to hate people or to dislike people. Maybe you don't really hate them. Maybe you had some issues in the past. The people betrayed you. They did something very wrong to you. They hurt you in the past. And your woman is their best friend. Knowing that they are your enemies, they can never speak good of you. A friend to your enemy is your enemy. Do you have a woman who clings to people who are your enemies? People who do not like you for any reason. It's not as if they are colleagues. It's okay. She cannot leave her job because of that. But she would become their friends. They would take their baths and go and visit them. Based on the way they hurt you, if your woman now become their friend is somehow because those kind of people they have nothing good to say about you you might say oh your woman might defend you then you are not there you are not there anybody that is so close to people that is like you is not your friend you cannot trust that person especially with your life at a point you will always wonder do you know what they are even planning you know if they are trying to poison the heart of your woman against you, to poison you, to kill you, to do anything evil to you? Your life is not safe with such a woman. If she refuses to leave them, to let them go, then you let her go. Because the truth is, most of the problems happening in the society, they don't just happen. We call on witches and wizards. The people close to you at times could be the witch or the wizard. The people tormenting you. It is very hard for an outsider to attack you if nobody living with you is giving them information. Another thing that your partner will do that you will never give her a second chance. If she has to cheat with others or leave you, date others, date other men to know your words. Yes. 
for her to realize how important you are to her, how good you are to her, she must have gone out to date others. Never you take her back. Maybe you have a woman in your life and you are dating. You are showing her all the care, all the attention. You are doing your best. You will not kill yourself. You are doing your best. But she's not giving back. And she does not even appreciate what you are giving her. She begins to compare you with others. Look at other men. Look at what they are doing for their women. Maybe this woman has a friend who is lying, brainwashing her. Hey, my guy is like this. My guy buys me this. My guy buys me that. You know women, at times we can lie a lot. And they can use these lies to deceive another woman. Ah, my husband is like this. Ah, my guy is like this. Ah, he used to do this. Maybe this woman, this woman is the one paying the rent. Maybe this woman is the one buying things for this man and she's there bragging to your woman. Your woman can then get so jealous and put pressure on you to start doing certain things for her. And if you cannot, she brings up issues. You are always having issues. No matter how much you try to please her, she is not pleased. She wants you to do what this person is doing. Maybe she has a friend bragging to her, lying to her, that her husband is this and that. And you know some women, they will start putting pressure on you. And if you cannot cope, you break up with them. When they go out and meet other men, sleep with other men, or date other men, and see that it is not the way they thought, they will now discover that even that their friend, she's lying to her. She will now discover that life is different. As she's dating other guys, she will realize that you are far more better. All those are rubbish, rubbish attitudes that you used to take, tolerate, all in the name of love. She will change, she will change. Those men will not take it. They will give her fire for fire. She will now start regretting. Oh, I made a mistake. How I wish I knew I would not have left. But at this time, it is too late. If she comes back to you, never you accept her back, except you are taking a remnant. After she has gone to sleep with other men, she has tested other men, maybe married to them, maybe dated them, whichever be the case. She has tested other men. She left you and she dated others and discovered that all that glitters is not gold. Apology accepted or access denied. Never you welcome her back into your life. Never you give your partner a second chance if they always play victim and blame you for all their mistakes. I'm not saying when you are having issues, maybe you are broken up, she got angry and left you. There are women in your life, they always play the victim, even when they are wrong. They never accept their mistake. A person who never accepts mistake will make your life miserable. Nobody is perfect. When you see some couples, they are living fine. Not that they don't offend each other, but because they accept their fault and work on it. When you accept your fault and you work on it, then there is a hope for a better tomorrow, a better union. But if you are always dragging, you are with a woman that is always claiming right, Madam no all, always arguing. A person like this, when they realize their mistake too late, maybe by then you had already broken up. Never you take her back. Because people like this, they never change. They will make your life a living hell. Even when they are wrong, they blame it on you. They must look for a person to blame it on. If not that Michael said this, if not that Julius did this, this would have not happened. I would have not taken this decision. When they failed, they must blame every other person other than themselves. They cannot become better women or better individuals because when you work on your mistake, you accept your fault, you work on your failure, this makes you a better person. And a woman like this will grow with you. You will be happy with a woman like this. You will be successful with a woman like this. When she fails, she acknowledges the fact that it was her fault. Tries to work harder, better, and change her ways, and change her style, and take advice from you. But there are some women, they are no all. 
They don't take advice. They don't take correction. They blame you for their mistake. They are never guilty, even when they are so guilty. Never you give second chance to a person who never paid attention to you. If you are dating a person, a woman, and this woman does not pay attention to you, this woman never cares about you. It is only when she needs something that she calls you. It is only when she needs anything that she remembers that you are still alive, you are still living. Immediately she calls you just to watch her talk. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're fine. Ah, I miss you. Ah, you do. Hey, hey, please. I don't know if you can help me with this. They must end up with a request. If not, they will not call you. They will not test you. They are not there for you, especially when you need them. It only shows they don't love you. A woman cannot love two men at the same time. If she's not in love with you, she is in love with another man. If she does not give you time, she gives her time to other men. Don't be deceived, men. Every human being has a time. Okay, as a woman, I don't have time to call you. But you have the time to take your bath, to make up, to put on your dress and go to work or do other things. If that man is important in your life, you will create out time, no matter how small, to pay attention to his need. At times you get angry, you are shouting. You don't know how to call. You have no single care at all. Don't care about any other person except yourself. What is the need of telling her that? Why are you angry? Never get angry when people refuse to show you care and love. Instead, take your love and care and give to people who will appreciate and reciprocate. There are many women you think you are dating. You are not dating them. You are not in a relationship. You are the one carrying everything. If you stop now, you will notice that she is not there. You initiate the call, the conversation, the everything. You are dating yourself. So distance yourself from them. Don't beg anyone to stay with you because you have invested so much love. One day, all the love and care you have given out will find its way back to you. God will bring a person that will love you and cherish you like you deserve. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more tips. May God bless you. I hope you have learned from this. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much. May God bless you. Please share this video with your friends and make sure you like.